Well, hello, my friend. Welcome to my channel. Today, I've got some nail foils I want to share with you guys. I've already gotten started. I've got some of my nails already done. But what I have started with on this ring finger here is I've got my base coat, the Revlon Color Stay Gel Smooth Nail Base Coat. And then I've also done two coats of this Sally Hansen Insta Dry, and it is in the col color Silver Sweet. And what we're going to do next is we're going to take a little paint container or palette, and I've got this um, Best Glue Ever from Scrap Perfect, and I'm going to put just a little tiny dot of it in here. I don't like the glue that I got with my nail foils. It was okay when I first got it, but it's been a while and it's gotten pretty yucky, so I have converted over to using this glue. And I've got a little brush that I got at Sally's, and it's the IBD gel brush, and it's the number six flat, and it's just got a little water in it from being in a cup, and I'm just going to kind of tap some of the water off, and I might need just a drop more of the glue. I'm hoping you guys can see the consistency that I'm going to end up getting out of this. And the way I test it is um, after I get it in the glue, if I hold it over to the side, if I can see it kind of push through the brush and it's not too goopy, that's what I, I like to see. <clears throat> get that out of the way. Hopefully y'all saw that. I'm really bad with this camera angle stuff. <laughs> I'm working on it, guys. I promise. But anyway, so I get a little bit on the brush, and I'm just going to paint it on my nail. And you want to make sure you get it all the way over to the sides and even cap the tips with it. And I just keep kind of going over it until it looks like it's... Because I guess using the top coat and over the nail polish, it doesn't give it just a flat surface to stick to. And I'm going to try to get some of this excess off of the sides because I really don't want to have to clean that up later. And I just keep brushing over it to get it as smooth as I can and to make sure that it's covered really well. And then I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to let it dry for, I don't know, anywhere between five to seven minutes or something like that. And um, and then I'll come back and show you how I put on my nail foils. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've given that glue a little bit of time to set up. And this is going to be the foil that I used today. It just came in a little roll. And I cut some little pieces out. And I did run a little bit of an alcohol swab on the back because sometimes they have some kind of little coating on it, and I didn't know for sure if this one had it or not, so I just did it. And what I like to do when I put these on is I like to cut them this size for my nail and, you know, and just use them this way. But I like to take them back from my cuticle and kind of slide them down, and I like to go down the middle of it and make sure it's kind of stuck down and then I use a q-tip and I go really close to the sides and all the way around and just rub it rub it rub it rub it rub it and I did put glue on the tip so and just take my finger and hopefully push that down some and it just popped off and you can see there's a couple of places where it didn't really take so good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little brush back out with my glue and I'm just going to tap some in to those parts that are missing And then I'm going to let that dry. And 
And of course, y'all know I'm going to get that out of my cuticle zone because that just makes me crazy. Well, that and I don't want to have to get all that um, extra foil cleanup from over there in the sides. I don't, on oh, my luck, I'll end up using too much nail polish remover with my cleanup brush and I'll end up taking the whole side off. So I'm going to just try to clean some of that up now. Alrighty, so I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to come back and show you some more tapping in, and then we'll get down to finishing these up. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Um, I think that glue's had a chance to kind of get a little more dried out. Um, and let me get my little piece. And you can see this corner's kind of got like blue, so I'm going to find a good spot that's left on my little piece here. And I'm just going to go back over and rub some of that blue in, just using my finger. And then I'm going to put this pink right there. And that's what I love about these is you just, you know, you just keep playing with it. And I didn't expect like a smooth, I kind of wanted them to look kind of like acid washed or whatever. You can just go back in and just tap them in, you know, tap some more in. And I'm pretty happy with that. It's not totally covered, but that's why I have the silver underneath is so that I don't have to really worry. It's not like negative space jumping out from under there. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to do just a touch of cleanup with my little Sonia Kushak brush and my acetone. It's very minimal. I like that. Alright, see how quick that was? That was pretty quick. Alright, so we've got our cleanup done. And I've tried all sorts of different things and I think a lot of people stay away from nail foils because you can't put a top coat on them. And if you can't top coat them, then <laughs> first or second time you wash your hands, they start coming off. It just starts wearing off. But um, I can't remember whose YouTube channel it was that I saw this, but um, this stuff's amazing. Um, this is called Little Own Dine, and you can get it at littleowndine.com, and I'll leave a link down below for it. And this stuff's amazing. It's a water-based top coat, and it does not crack the... Um, the foil at all. Um, and I do have something else I want to show y'all here in just a minute. Let me get some top coat on this. But you want to definitely get all the way to the edges with it because with this being a water-based top coat, I don't know how long it would wear if it's, you know, but I'm looking for a little bit of longevity out of this. So I'm going to put this on and let it completely dry and then I'm going to come back in and put Shesh Feet on top and it won't crack, I promise. And in fact, I've got a couple of little swatch sticks that I did some practicing with. So do lots of practicing. Okay, these two were done with the same foil, and this one was done with the top coat I just showed you that's water-based, and then I put shesh feet on top of it. And it didn't crackle at all. It looks perfect. This one looked great. I used the Picture Polish Revolution, and it's made for foil top coat. But, like I said, I was wanting to wear it longer, so I wanted to be able to put shesh feet, and so I was just testing, and I put shesh over it, and it cracked it all up. It's like, I mean, it's still cool looking, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. I wanted to be able to see the pattern and the shininess of it, and so... Now, if you just use just the Pitcher Polish Revolution and don't put the other top cut on it, it, it looks great. It looks just like that. So, um, I'm going to let this dry, guys. Like I said, I want to let it dry all the way. And then I'm going to put Shesh on top of it and come back and show you the final look. So, 
stay tuned. I'll be right back. All righty, guys. We're going to put some top coat on that. On this. Not that. This. <laughs> and I'm using chest feet, like I said. I've already got the water-based top coat on it, but I wanted to seal it in. I've never used a water-based top coat till today, so I want to, you know. But as you can see, that's not cracking it. It's not making it split or get funky. And I'm really happy about that because I've got a bunch of nail foils. And I've always avoided using them because I didn't want them to, you know, crack or only wear for a half hour or whatever, an hour. But that's it. <clears throat> And if they make it through tomorrow at work, then I might come home and stamp on them. And if I do, I will show you guys what I'd end up doing with it. So, that's all we have for today. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>